Okay, when you're waiting for the birds, guns are up in the air, muzzles are pointed up. One shell at a time. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. There you go. Hey! It's early September, the opening weekend of dove hunting season in Arizona. There you go. Good shot. Yay! <laughs> and these kids are having a blast. Although I had to wake up early. Even though I have to wake up at 2 o'clock? 3.30 in the morning. I was thinking, oh man, I get, I get to shoot doves down, but then I have to wake up early at the same time. Good morning. Can I have your first name, please? We asked them to be here about 4 o'clock in the morning. Ethan, there you are. This is the Robins Butte Youth Dove Hunt for kids 17 and younger. We have your survey this morning? Great. First time hunter? Yes. yes. <laughs> It's an annual event made possible by the Arizona Game and Fish Department, Youth Outdoors Unlimited, the National Wild Turkey Federation, Arizona Outdoor Sports, and Arizona Sportsmen for Wildlife Conservation. That word, conservation, is one reason why these kids are here. When you get to your spot, you're gonna have a 45 degree, so put your hands out here like this. That's about 45 degrees. That's your safe zone of fire. Now, if you're standing closer to people, then it's going to get smaller. They're the future of wildlife conservation, whether they know it or not. When you get on the hay wagon, they're going to put these little flags in your chamber so that we know the guns are empty. And you won't be able to get on the hay wagon unless you have one of these in your gun. Let's throw one of those in there. As the next generation of sportsmen and women, we're counting on them to continue funding our nation's conservation efforts with the money they'll spend on hunting and fishing licenses and the taxes they'll pay on guns, ammo, and other outdoor gear. Keep the action open and out when you're carrying it. It amounts to billions of dollars a year nationwide. Money that's used to improve habitats, conduct the science of game management, and recover endangered species. All right, let's up. Without that money, the future of America's wildlife is uncertain. So that's the serious side of this event. Safety is number one. Number two is have a good time. This is honestly all about just getting the families out here and enjoying a good day of hunting. And with so many other choices that, you know, out there today that if we don't get more people involved in hunting and fishing and things like that, maybe that tradition will go away forever. And I don't want to see that happen. And, you know, so I try to do my best to get people out here to, to enjoy that. How we doing, Dad? You having fun? I think the youngest one I registered was eight years old. Getting tired. <laughs> I think we had about 20 young ladies out here, which is out of 75 kids, that's pretty good, I think. And then when that bird flies, you just put the bird right above the, right above the end of the gun. We had kids never shot a shotgun before, limited experience or experience. Then the same thing with dove hunting. Have you ever done hunted before? No, a little, done it a lot. So we had them everywhere in between. Yeah, I've shot a gun before, but I just haven't been hunting. And you're looking right down here and you see the BB at the end? The coaches in Arizona Outdoor Sports are amazing. They're fantastic. There you go. Good job. They do amazing job showing those kids how to shoot. And, it's, and then you get to see the, that gleam in their eye when finally that one comes out of the sky. You'll remember that forever, and that's, that's why all these coaches, they volunteered their time all to be out here. That's, they want to see that smile. That's what brings them back every year. First of all, they taste good. <laughs> and I just like walking around, being in the wilderness. It's fun. There's a lot to like out here at the Robins Butte Wildlife Area. Just shooting. Let's go. Yeah, it's nice to be out here in the wildlife, kind of. Especially when all the birds fly. Especially on the weekends. <laughs> okay, there's one coming in right here. All right, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, good shot. This 3,000 acre property near the city of Buckeye is managed by the Arizona Game and Fish Department. And there's so many birds out there. It's just they're all over the place. There's a 15 dove daily bag limit, but few kids come close to that mark. They're tiny and you can barely see them from far away. So I barely got to shoot any, but it was hard. It's very challenging because they can move around really fast. I thought it was pretty fun and a great experience, mainly because I was with my dad. I really enjoy spending time with my dad. 
You got your bird here, huh? Mm -hmm. He shot it right on the wing. Mm -hmm. Good father-son time, um, definitely. I, I am a gun owner, so I'm you know conscious about gun safety, but hunting is just it's out of my realm. So this was a good good avenue for us to go and uh, you know give the boys a proper uh, hunting experience. After a few hours of shooting, the kids collect their birds and head back to camp. Oh, a little bit less than 40. Yeah, we had them check in, and I think one of the things the biologist did here is to use the wings to show them the age of the birds. You count from the outside, 10, 9, 8, and that short feather is the molt feather to replacement feather. A molt of 8 is about 100 days old. So that, that bird's 100 days old. And they'll use this information to determine how many dove can be uh, harvested each year. Right behind us, they're cleaning the dove, so that's important too, is proper game handling. If you don't handle the meat correctly or the birds correctly, it's not going to taste good when you get it home. So we're showing them the proper ways to clean them and to keep them legal for transporting them home. And we've given them some ideas on how to cook it. This was taco sauce. I've got recipes for other ones. Those were done in barbecue sauce in the crock pot. Turn these babies for just a minute. You can use any, any taco sauce, but I'm a fan of Taco Bell Mild. It tastes really good. It tastes much better with Taco Bell sauce. It makes my day being out here when I've got a child come up to me that's got his very first dove and he says, can you cook it? And I cook it and he gets to eat his dove and he likes it. Well, I know that I've just helped make that child a dove hunter for the rest of his life and I've taught him how to cook it. So that makes my day. I was really happy to get some good pictures of them for some memories. It was a great day for the Gomez family. And I shot down two doves. So yay me. Just really impressed with this whole day, actually. So we'll be back. And nine-year-old Jonathan will be highly recommending the camp to all of his friends. It's really fun, and you'll never know about hunting unless you try it. Do it. I would just tell him to do it.